Testing. <laughs> okay. Right, so, uh, question seven of the 2015 S1 paper. Roots. Is that how you say it? Roots. 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 Roots sweets are packed into tubes of 10 sweets. Chosen at random, 25% of fruit sweets are yellow. The 10 sweets are chosen at random. Find the probability that in a randomly selected tube of fruits, sweets, there are exactly three yellow sweets. So this starts with three marks. The first of which is for you correctly identifying that we're dealing with a binomial distribution question. So the first thing we're going to do is we can say x. You need to make it clear that you've decided it's binomial. x follows the binomial distribution. There are ten sweets in a packet. The probability of a sweet being yellow is 0.25, and x is the number of yellow sweets. So part one is asking us, part a is asking us for the probability that x is equal to 3. For a single probability, we could use the formula booklet for this, but for a single probability it's just as easy to use the formula. This is 10c3. That's three successes, so 0.25 cubed. And there would be seven failures, non-yellow sweets. So that would be 0.75 to the 7. And if we put that into the calculator, you get 0 0.250. Remember, this is S1. It says on the front of your question paper, give all answers to three significant figures. So 0 0.3 isn't an acceptable answer. 0.25 is only just an acceptable answer. They shouldn't really accept that, but they did accept 0.25 in this case because it was 0.250. But make sure you give your answers to the different figures. I, I usually have to go. Part B. At least yellow, at least three yellow sweets. Now this is one of those things where uh, we're thinking of what the answers could be. The answers could be not 1, 2, 3, 4, all of these numbers like this, up to 10. At least 3 is that. That's what we're looking for. That is the opposite of less than or equal to 2. Okay? So the probability of x being at least 3, greater than or equal to 3, is 1 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to 2. And we're going to go to the formula booklet. I haven't got my formula booklet open on the internet, but it is, um, what have we, we're on n equals 10. We're looking at the 0.25 column. We're looking down the 0.25 column to the 2 number, and it's 0.5256. And 1 minus 0.5256 gives us 0.4744. Uh, of course, we are doing it to three significant figures, so 0.474 is probably a better answer, but they're always going to accept the four significant figures that you get in the formula booklet. Okay, then it said, find the probability that in a box containing six tubes of sweets, there is at least one tube that contains at least three yellow sweets. Notice, you're supposed to make the connection here. They've used exactly the same words, you're supposed to connect at least three yellow sweets with at least three yellow sweets. It's the same phrase appearing in both cases. So that tells you that your answer to one part B is going to be important. At least three yellow sweets is a success. So we've now got another binomial distribution, a new binomial distribution. It's about the number of tubes, the number of boxes, no, hang on, the number of tubes in a box where there's at least one that have this success. So I set this up with a new letter. I use the letter Y. Y is a binomial distribution as well. There are six trials, the six tubes in the box, and the probability of a success now is whatever answer you had for part one, part B. And now we're looking for there being at least 1. So the probability that my y is greater than or equal to 1. 
Well, obviously, there's not going to be a, a binomial probability table that has 0.4744 as one of the columns, so we can't use the tables anymore. So calculating all of these greater than or equal to 1 probabilities is quite hard work, but greater than or equal to 1 is the opposite of 0. So that is 1 minus the probability that y equals 0, and the probability that y is 0 is that is um, 6 failures in this binomial. So you could write 6c0, 0, 0.4744 to the 0, but both of those things are equal to 1, so you just need to write 1 minus 0.4744 to the 6. I did have a few people who didn't do the 1 minus here, who just worked out that probability on its own, and that didn't get you uh, the marks. So that gave you point, what was it, point 0.979, I think, if you work all that out, to three significant figures. There we go. Okay. Um, you did get a mark for well, somewhere on the line coming up with the probability, recognising that you needed the probability of 0.5256 at some point in your calculation. There we go. Um, that was the question that we scored lowest on. I don't think it was the most difficult question on the paper. So that this is slightly, I don't know why we did quite as badly as we did on that question. As a percentage of the marks available, that was the worst. Not a bad question, was it? I don't think. There we go. And that's maths. So, oh, thanks, Max.